Oh, each way, everyone. I'm Chief Skarnik. Welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. Last time we made it here to Great Canyon, and we made it all the way up to the 8th floor, and hopefully in this episode we're going to be making it to the top of the hill of paint. Okay. And I just, and Cynical just ran away from me. Sure, come back here. Come back here. Thank you. It's not the prize, send the quill. Don't you ever run away from me like that again. It's the prize, it's the prize, send the quill. Just for that, I'm going to have you take care of this hair across. Actually, I'll take care of it. Oh yeah, I forgot. You are Ember, then. I guess I better do something about that. Whoa, what am I doing? See, that's much better. I think I read the plank seat. They don't lose any crap. I'm going for it, Garnick! Well, don't talk to me, go, go kill that freaking Aria dose. I'm just eating plain peas right here, I'm gonna join the show. Thank you! Oh yeah, I forgot, he had yeah, screenshot you down, so... No! No! Do not switch, please. That's bad. That's a bad, bad thing to do. Come on, what the crap are those freaking stairs? Oh, no! Well, I'm screwed. Have fun, Cyndaquil. Oh, he's not that far away. Well, I thought it would be a lot worse. So yeah, now Cyndaquil's on his own because I accidentally stepped on that one space where I had no choice but to switch places. And, but good thing I found the stairs. When you find the stairs and you guys separated, guess what? You're automatically back together. Which is awesome. I love that. Alright. I love Cynical's Ember. It's such a beast of a move. If you think Ember's awesome, wait till you see Flamethrower. Oh, Flamethrower is a beast. I love Flamethrower. Flamethrower in this game is basically the most useful fire type attack there is. But it has low PP. Other than that, it's fantastic. I'm gonna stick with the Max Elixir. And there's just one small minor downside to being a water type is that you often accidentally, you know, throw on patches of water and you have to take them apart. And so that's always a little bit of a downside because a lot of the dungeons in this game have water. There are some dungeons that have boxes lava, but we haven't run into any of those yet. So I'm just killing these hound dudes left and right. I still can't find the freaking stairs. The stairs always elude me. Here's another freaking hound dude that I want to take out. Come on. Thank you. Now you take care of the Aria dose. I said take care of the Aria dose. Thank you. I'll be taking care of the town. Thank you. How am I doing on water gun? Only five more? Okay. Well, we're almost to the top, so I don't think I should be worrying about it. I keep, but if I keep running into hound dooms, that's gonna be a problem. <sighs> Actually, I'm gonna turn on tackle. So it doesn't, so the cynical just can't just use Ember on Houndoom. But oh well, it doesn't matter. Finally, it's on the stairs. Still have two more floors to go. Which isn't too bad, I mean, it could be worse. And wow, that was pretty quick. Alright, one more set of stairs and we're done. Boom. Yeah. Now, ooh, Tauros. Yeah, Tauros, you find the beach. Fairly late up here. It doesn't matter, we're only, we're only one floor away from the top. Let's pick up an apple. Because apples are good for you. Now, where are those freaking bears? Oh, crap, I'm out of water guns. 
Good info. Good. Uh, stairs. Anyone? Help. Help me. Stairs. I need stairs. Thank you. Go. Oh, what am I doing? Thank God. Finally. Yes, we finally made it to the top, Skarnik. This is the Hill of Ancients. Look over there! Skarnik, is that Zatu over there? Excuse me, are you maybe Zatu? Hello? Maybe he doesn't hear me. Hello? Hello? Almost killed me. Actually, I could do, I could do better. But I'm not going to. You're just not responding at all. Maybe he's sleeping while on his face. Scarlet, what should we do? Tickle him. Huh? Tickle him. Okay, it's worth a try. I should, I would have laughed if it said, uh, "Give him one of your signature hugs." Tickle, 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 <laughs> Man, I'm just pushing my voice to the limits in this episode. It's no good, Skarnak. He's not responding. Huh? Wow, <laughs> 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 oh, we made him happy. Finally laughing now. Is he just dense? Ah! Yikes! Witness it. The sinking of the sun. Indeed. I am Zatu. You discern my true identity. You are not an ordinary sort. Guess your identity? That's a bit much. No. I can tell you this. You there. You're an ordinary Pokemon. You are human, yes. Huh? How can you tell that? All day I stare at the sun, unblinking. Is it not bad for your eyes, buddy? You, you know, you're probably going to get blind for that. It gives me sight for all things. It also gives me sight for nothing. But the past and the future, too. It gives, you the vision, it gives you the vision of blindness. If you know, please tell us, Zatu. Next to me is my friend Skarnak. My friend woke up one morning as a Pokemon, and without any memory as a human. Zatu, can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you please tell us? Doc, 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 doc. The calamities of nature. There have been many in recent times. They occur because the world's balance is upset, and you're becoming a Pokemon. They are tied together, inseparably so. Wait, Skarnak becoming a Pokemon and the natural disasters are related? What do you mean? What does Skarnak here have to do with the natural disasters we've been seeing? Da, 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 da. What is it? Why did you climb up? Please, tell us, please! There are bigger concerns, I am afraid. The world's balance must be resorted, restored, or the unthinkable shall have to follow our word. Huh? You're serious? The world? The unthinkable is coming? Every day I see it. The same future every day. I dread it. Zatu. I fear it. The world's destruction. The world's destruction? 2012, anybody? To her? Isn't that a surprise? That Skarnik was human. That's gonna be useful. This should be in interesting. <laughs> the next morning. Yeah. All right, let's go. Good morning, Skarnak. Let's keep doing good. Actually, I wanted to ask you something. What do you think about what Zatu said yesterday? Does it bother you? 
Yeah, if I can see if you can start to start. There's supposed to be a link between the world's balance being upset how you became a Pokemon. And because of the world's balance was upset, natural disasters have been occurring. And more than anything, he said that the world would be ruined if I balance is restored. I want to do something, but there's something I don't understand. So, uh, the world's balance, what is it? Do you know what the world's balance is? Of course! Of course! Oh, really? Skarnik, you, you know? Please tell me. What is the world stop? It's in space! Ta -ta! In space? Like where the stars and moon are? That space? Hmm, I'm getting more confused. Okay, so where exactly in space is the world balance? If you go, you'll see. Huh? Go up to space? How are we supposed to get to space? Fly there. Remember, I can fly. Huh? I can't fly. Well, I can. Flap, flap, flap. Flap, flap. Pelletur! How are you doing, buddy? Oh, Pelletur! Guess who we need? You see, we're wondering if you need to carry us to space. <laughs> no way, not a chance. Screw you! No more mail for you! <laughs> I don't know why, I've always loved this. <laughs> oh my freaking gosh! <laughs> okay, this is one of my favorite parts of the entire game. I'm sorry, but I just love doing this. Uh, it appears to be impossible! <laughs> What's wrong with you? Say all these ridiculous things! I wish you'd be more considerate before making jokes! So you don't know either, Skarnik. I can't imagine what the world's balance is about. To be honest, I don't know what we should do. I guess we should have to do what we can. One thing at a time. Anyways, let's check the mail. We'll save that for later. Let's go into Pokemon Square. Huh? What are they chatting about? Yeah, I'm kinda shocked. I always thought it was a, only a legend. It could be true. I'm having a hard time believing it. Hi, what's happening? Well, you know, Nine Tails Legend, that old story? The Nine Tails Legend? What's that? What, you don't know? You know, it's that old fairy tale. How you'll get cursed if you ever grab one of Nine Tails' tails. All this time, everyone thought it was just a legend. But lately, it's been rumored that maybe it really happened. Well, it is a mere rumor. I wouldn't put in much to stop in that story if I were you. Personally, I don't believe in rumors of that sort. If you want to know more about the Nine Tails legend, you should go see a Pokemon named Whiskash. He knows the story well. Whiskash is, uh, you know, in his pond. You should visit him if you want to know more. Okay then. So apparently we got word of a Pokemon named Wishcast and just lives right up here. But uh, I'm afraid this is going to be up for episode 10. So in episode 11, we will be going up and we'll be meeting up with Wishcast to see what this Nine Tails Legend is about. But until then, I'm Chief Skarnik. Sayonara.